of so many music equipment items that I was able to purchase thankfully um, in result of this new chapter and the abundance of the universe coming into my life there's bear in the back oh she's so cute um all right y'all well yeah here's an unboxing of all the music equipment I got I'm so excited to be able to now record music and edit it and maybe share it with you all. Um, I also got some equipment to record. So I'm using my DSLR now and I got a little um, ring light. I got a little tripod to put the ring light on and I hooked up my camera to my mini TV that I've had for a very long time so I can use it as a viewfinder so if you see me looking a little somewhere else other than in the camera it's because I have my viewfinder sitting in the window so if you are at all a musician or a beginner youtuber I have some really good things that I just got and today we are going to actually do a little memo or a review on the microphone and today we will be trying out and kind of I'll be reviewing the microphone, the audio interface. I have a Audio Technica AK20 something. I will link every single item that I got in the description below. Personally, I ordered them all on Amazon just because I get a deal with Amazon and it's fast shipping. Um, but I will link everything below in the description of what I purchased if you are looking to expand and record your own music, your own podcast, your own um, YouTube videos, whatever you like. This stuff is really useful for any of that. So let's get into it. Thanks for joining my channel again. For anyone who's new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We will be doing all kinds of videos on this channel, including self-development, spirituality, um, music, that kind of stuff, and beginner YouTuber things. So if you need any tips or tricks, if I know them, as I'm learning, I'll share them with you. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that I would like to unbox is the audio interface. So y'all, the audio interface, basically what it's for is you plug it into your computer where you're gonna like record and edit your files for music or podcast or whatever. You plug it into your computer and then the audio interface, you can plug in a microphone, you can plug in, this is what it looks like. You can plug in, you see these uh, plugs right here, these two plugs. You can plug in a keyboard, you can plug in a mic, you can plug it into a ukulele, you can plug it into a guitar. You could mic a guitar and plug it into here. Anything that you have that you want to record, basically you just need to get a cable that will plug into the audio interface. And this will go in between your computer and the recording device like a microphone 
or the cable to the instrument. Um, and basically what the this uses is that it's so that your computer isn't fried by the surge of energy that is generated from a recording device like a microphone or any of the other things that I just mentioned. So it's kind of like a surge protector, kind of. That's one of the uses for it. That's one of the main things that people get them for is just to protect um, their computer. Because if you were trying to plug your microphone right into your computer, you might fry your computer. And for me, that would not be great. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm gonna try to, um, like break all the tape so I don't have to like rip the boxes. And if you hear my cat in the background, don't mind her. She's just like probably going to explore all of the cardboard that I drop on the floor. She loves cardboard boxes. Um, so, oh my god, this is amazing. I've never had an audio interface, y'all. I've never had an audio interface. This is a like a piece that doesn't matter. Um, I've never had an audio interface. I've only ever recorded my music on my phone, really. So to expand my musicianship, to be able to have a, a whole ass microphone, I feel like I'm moving up in the world. So the Foresight Scarlet audio interface and just to give you a little background on this product specifically it is a common starter audio interface there are audio interfaces that cost like thousands and thousands of dollars this one's around like 140 i think i'll put a little price up uh from amazon of what i bought it for right here it is it too expensive for like how much use I'm going to get out of it? Um, I got the two prong one just so that I could plug in two microphone or recording devices at once. So say I want to plug my piano directly into it and then a mic directly into it. I can record those two things at the same time. So that is a really good quality of this. I'm really excited to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up to my computer now. So when next I get the microphone out, that was a zip tie. My cat loves zip ties. So there's like a lot of them floating around right now. And she's loving every second of it. I have my uh, laptop set up right here. So. Now I have and automatically on my computer popped up Scarlet on my desktop. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, program I'm, I'm using now. I'm just going to close it and reopen it because when I first opened it, it asked me what, what device would you like to record with? So now I'm going to select device. I'm going to select the Scarlet audio interface. I just did that. So I'm going to click apply. I'm using Reaper. One of my friends at work said that it was a good free interface to use for recording and editing music before I'm able to purchase Logic. So now the program and the interface are linked up. Next, I will unbox the microphone. This is like the joy of my life besides my cat and my plants right now. You guys don't even know how excited I am. I purchased this microphone because I heard Phineas, you know, Billie Eilish's brother, he said in an interview this was the first mic that they used to record Billie Eilish's first album. And I mean, 
for the price of it, I think it was like two ninety. I mean, one twenty nine for this package deal. It's like the little arm to hold it onto a desk. Then you have um, the little bit to screw the mic on, and then it comes with the headphone and the cord to plug it into the audio interface. So this is like a pretty good deal. So for a starter mic, I thought, why not just get something that I know already sounds good? Obviously, um, Phineas has a lot of other equipment that could also contribute to the quality of the sound. But I think in terms of a microphone, I just wanted to start with something that's like at least halfway decent. Since it's my first microphone I'm really purchasing. So, I got this and I will show you guys the inside of the box here let's see if I can set this on my shoulder so here's the microphone it comes with this little uh, pamphlet explanation here and it comes with this mic bag and a pair of the headphones so I'm just gonna set the pamphlet aside I'm gonna set the headphones aside and let's check out what's in the mic bag. Oh my gosh. So this looks like one of the attachments for the arm to um, attach the mic to the arm. So I'm just gonna set the microphone down really fast just so that I can get the rest of the equipment out so we can check it out. I'm super excited guys. And that's all that's in the box. Um, so right now I'm working on getting the, like, the arm out. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. So the cord is actually in the box. So this is the clamp. Here, I'll show you. Bubble wrap, my favorite. Who else likes bubble wrap? Tell me in the comments below. I love bubble wrap. Ever since I was a kid, I was highly amused by bubble wrap. Is it just me or is that a thing? Because I think it's a thing. All right, and then this is the, the clamp for a desk. You can attach um, the microphone to this. So it's got a little hole up here. Um, so let me see how this works. This is a pretty cool little um, set. I'm very excited to use this. You know I'm about to be singing up in here. Any of y'all that know me previously, you know singing is one of my biggest passions. And anyone who's seen my video of um, how I found my biggest passion already knows as well. But it appears that this little end here goes in here and this little thing will tighten it into there. So then you could use this to loosen and then tie into the, the like, how big the desk is. And so I'm not gonna use this right now, this arm thing, cause my desk is like on the way. Um, I actually still need to order my desk. It's in my cart on Amazon. I'm gonna order it in a couple weeks. Um, but this is exciting as hell, y'all. So it comes with the arm, and like I said, the cord is with it here. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to throw the <laughs> twisty tie for my kitty cat, and then let's plug it in, guys. So... Here's the foresight. And you wanna make sure the prongs are right. So I'm, I've am i just plugged that in, one side. I'm gonna throw the foam over there. And here's the mic, oh my God. Oh, and another thing that I got for recording, um, if y'all can see that. I don't really know if this camera does like autofocus. 
Um, so I might need to get something to do that. I'm not sure. It says it does autofocus, so that's why I keep putting my hand like that. Um, oh wow. So this is another thing that I purchased just so that when I'm singing, it's called a pop screen. I'm sure most of y'all know what that is. But if you don't, it is a screen that you put on the outside of a microphone so that any like P's and S's and T's and stuff aren't too loud while you sing um, or breath sounds or anything like that. So I'm gonna put that on the outside of my microphone. It's kind of crazy saying my microphone. <laughs> I have a microphone. So I put the pop screen on. And now, I just wanna let y'all know that I'm in, in editing this video. This is the audio from my camera right now. And in just a moment, I'm going to let you hear the audio from this microphone instead. All right, everyone, after some research and getting this set up, uh, I can now show you the difference between the audio of my camera and the audio of this microphone. It's the Candroid Condenser Side Address Microphone the Audio Technica AT2020. So if you're looking to get a microphone for podcasting or vocals, anything like that, this is a this is a good mic I've heard from Billie Eilish's album. So here, here's the audio. So basically, I downloaded, just to give you guys like a little bit more info of how I got my Scarlett um, Foresight, Focus Sight, Focus Right, um, how I got it set up. I downloaded, a friend told me to download an uh, application called Reaper, which is a free music recording, mixing, editing software program. So I downloaded that and I had to go as well as that I had to go online and make a Focusrite account. So I just had to create an account using my email and then um, download the driver for that. It's like a little control center for the Focusrite um, Scarlett 2i2. Um, and then it was kind of difficult to set up the, the audio in Reaper, so that did take me a minute to set that up, but if you need any help setting that up, I can link below some videos that I use to help you set it up if you end up getting a Scarlet. Um, I found some on YouTube and they helped me get it all set up, so I've got my pop screen and I've got the, the arm all set up. I attached the mic to the arm and twisted it so it's tightly on there. The pop screen's on the microphone and I have the arm connected to the, the clamp. Um, but like I said, I don't have a desk yet so I do not have it clamped onto anything at this time. But the cord is like inside the arm so I'm just gonna hold the arm while I show y'all the difference between the audio. So here's the audio from my camera and I'm going to show you the audio from the mic now. So now is the audio with the microphone and I think I'm going to love it. I'm going to check it out in a few minutes and see how it works but in terms of recording um, voice vocally and just normal speaking voice. I'm very excited to use this for m any future videos and making music. So actually I think I will re-record the song that I posted on a previous video of how I found my f biggest passion. 
um, I'll link that video here, but um, the song that I shared in that video at the very end, I really would like to re-record it with a proper mic because I just recorded it from a distance on my phone and that really doesn't give justice to the softer parts or the parts where I was in my head voice. They kind of sound like weak without a proper mic, but if you're up close and you have a proper condenser mic like this one, you wouldn't have those kinds of issues. So if you could tell, the audio is so much better now. I love this microphone already. I can't wait to get my desk and get it all set up to show you guys. Right now in the corner, I just have my piano and my guitar and my ukulele. And um, yeah, I'm super excited to expand my um, studio. This is the start. This is the start of my music studio. So, um, yeah, I did want to show you guys this microphone. And I hope that if you have any questions about it, you let me know in the comments. Because I will love to make another video on it. Or just comment back and let you know my opinion or some information I found out on the internet. Um... But I will always leave links below for things if um, it's something like I learned in a video on YouTube or something like that. So don't worry about that. But uh, I will be listing below all of these um, items that I purchased on Amazon. All of the links. Um, so if you would like to get a microphone for podcasting or making music or anything like that you can do that and i think this mic is pretty good i've been singing for most of my life my mom said i was singing before i even knew how to speak words so <laughs> and i actually went to school for music so i have a lot of um, experience when it comes to music um, but I also studied electronic music in school as well. So I worked with studio software, studio um, equipment as well. So, I mean, I'm not foreign to this side of stuff. I've just never worked with these specific programs and products. So that's why it took me a minute to set it up. But I think this audio is great and I'm super excited for future videos and recording music but yeah y'all um let's get to the next item and bear with me while i figure out how i'm gonna hold this arm and open a new box <laughs> and then dun dun dun, 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 dun. <laughs> i got I've been waiting a fucking long time to get this, okay? Y'all haven't, unless you know me personally, y'all don't even know how long I have been waiting to get me one of these. It is, drum roll please, a piano bench. It's been a minute, man, that I've had a piano, and I have never once owned a piano bench. But now a bitch does. I have a piano bench. I got this on Amazon and it was like fairly cheap. I think it was less than $50. So I was like, uh, no brainer. And for you though, for y'all that know anything about, um, pianos and things. And, uh, this is a Donner, which is a decent, um, a decent piano brand so woo. here it is let me get that cardboard out of the way okay I see I'm not quite sure to be honest but I think I can sit on it now should be good. Let me test it out. All 
right y'all look at that i now have a piano bench and it i think it there there we go it finally locked in place but i think it does um change height so i will do that at one point at some point but um yeah y'all i also got this cord um it's that fat mic it's the fat audio plug with also the prong three prong plug that goes into the audio interface and with this i can plug in my piano to my for focus sight and i'm super pumped about that and I'm pretty sure this size of the audio plug is also the type of port that I have in my ukulele. Because my ukulele is a acoustic electric. So, yeah. I'm like leveling up when it comes to equipment right now. And I'm very excited that I finally made the investment to made the investment for my artistry to expand and i'm super excited um what else do i have to show you i have like a couple more cords this is like a double-sided cord this um oh also just to let y'all know as well as the three prong plug that goes into the audio interface it also takes these um big fat audio plugs so that's good to know because if i wanted to take this plug plug one side into my piano and one side into the audio interface that would also work so i have two cords there that work and then i originally had bought this um, it's the fat audio plug and a USB. I bought this a long time ago and, and I, this is when I found out that you can like zap and fry your computer if you're not careful plugging microphones and other audio devices without a search protector in between into it. That's when I found out it's like kind of risky to to not have an audio interface so that's really when i found out that i should be getting an audio interface um so i don't recommend these <laughs> i don't recommend these because i mean i don't know who has money to just go buy another laptop if you fry it no bueno but anyways y'all I don't think I have anything else to show you today, but I am super excited about all of these new um, items that I have for creating music and content. I am super excited, um, but yeah, if you have any more questions at all about this microphone um, or m maybe my camera or anything literally let me know um uh, in the comments i will answer all the comments whatever you feel like commenting down below i will get to as many as i can um but i'm just super excited that i took this step in the journey because this makes making content a lot easier but also making my music and sharing it so I'm really excited and I honestly want to record some music right now. So, without further ado, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for coming back to my channel and I look forward to seeing you soon. Stay hydrated, my friends. Peace. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs>